You know, the right message on a road sign can grab your attention during the morning commute. Usually it says something like click it or ticket. Usually. Well, a sign caught commuters' attention for a much different reason this morning. Denver 7's Gary Brode has the story. That construction sign has been removed, as you can see, but earlier in the morning for drivers, it gave them quite the surprise. I was expecting to see a merge left notification. Eli Kunish was on his way to work Wednesday morning when he noticed the traffic sign he sees every day was different. It said, abolish cops, support trans kids, and burn it down. I was wondering why it was on what I saw as a DOT sign, honestly. Um, obviously, I support anybody's ability to get out and make their opinions heard, but I was surprised to see it on a public on public equipment. Denver city officials say the sign was hacked, but they don't know how it happened. When I see something like that, it makes me feel a certain way about the person who would put that kind of thing on a sign, potentially break into a government system and put that on there. The city tells me they were almost done with the sign anyway, so when it was hacked, they had the company they rent it from pick it up. We found this sign about a half a block away from 38th and Brighton. I did speak to the company that rents out these signs to the city. They tell me that inside of this box is a control board. Now, a lot of times what happens here is that someone may have an extra key or even in some cases it's left unlocked. Now, once it's open, it's easily hacked. It looks like taxpayer money is going towards supporting one side or the other in a very simplistic way. The Denver Police Department tells me they are not pursuing criminal charges. Reporting here in Denver, I'm Gary Brode, Denver 7.